The Chelsea boss had to play down further speculation over his future at the club after a continued run of poor form that has landed him in hot water, ahead of their home Premier League game against Crystal Palace on January 15. For all the pressure mounting on Potter, though, he isn't too concerned. What they said, speaking ahead of a crucial game, he explained, there are always questions if you don't get the results. I was under pressure after two defeats before the World Cup break, and that is from the media. In terms of the board, I've had full support but I am not naive. If anybody that I work for thinks the problem lies with me then they have every right to say, thank you very much but it's not working. I accept that. Potter was also asked if the players were still committed to his ideas, to which he responded, from what I see, they are professional, responsible, and honest. We're in a bad moment and we've got challenges, everyone suffers from that point. January is always complicated no matter where you are because the window is open and human beings are human beings, but I don't see any problems in that regard. I have the support of the boys and they have mine. We just need to keep working. The bigger picture, life as Chelsea head coach started well for Potter after he left Brighton for Stamford Bridge to replace Thomas Tuchel in September 2022, but an injury crisis has coincided with a seriously poor run of form. The Blues sit 10th in the Premier League table and lost to Fulham last time out, in a game where new signing Joao Felix was sent off on his debut. What next for Chelsea? As the club continues to flex their financial muscles in the transfer market and work towards closing a shock deal to sign Mikhailo Mudrik, Potter must have all focus on taking three points against Palace on Sunday afternoon.